Hey everybody, it's Charles9. Welcome back for more Final Fantasy V Advance. This is episode 42, post-game episode 5. In the last episode, we uh, viewed two alternate endings that you can get. One of the... I think there's there are eight endings, but we viewed like two endings. Fix my MP3 player. Okay, let's now continue. In the Cloister of the Dead. There are lots of strong enemies here. Okay, we can go there now, but... This, I think this is gonna be the last episode. Two part episode, but the last episode. Let's click, yeah. It triggered a, a cutscene just by pressing a button and wow I wonder what that is wow you can skip to at least a uh, fifth in the fifth minute if you want to if you don't want to see this part I'm just gonna buy some supplies <laughs> It's been a long time since I used the shop. I wanna buy some ethers and elixir. I know I still have like 20 plus, but I still wanna make sure I don't run out of items because the Cloister for Dead is a marathon, boss marathon. There's no rest in that battle, so you can't tent in between. So if you wanna restore your MP, you gotta buy lots of ethers or elixirs. Or in the battle, use your Battle of Gallade, which is uh, Ether High Potion, Chemist Mix, a bit mixed, uh, yeah, Chemist Mix. This is Crescent. I don't think there's Ethers here. Actually, there's there are eaters in Moor, but not in Crescent. Moor is at the northwestern. I think it's a west, yeah, western, western part of the map. Yep, it's in the western part of the map. Yeah, this place sells off eaters. Eaters and El I don't think elixirs are here, but eaters kind of expensive, but the. The area in the Cloister of the Dead are, I mean, the post-game dungeon has a lot of gill, so gill is not gonna be a problem. You can always fight movers if you're run, running low on cash. And, uh, let's go back. Let's go down and let's continue our quest. We can just save outside, we don't need to save inside the post-game dungeon. The question mark came. It's easy to get out of this cave anytime you want to. Let's just save outside. I don't like to save on that consecrated circle anymore. <coughs> There's switch on the wall, press it. Oh yeah. Or to try and miss that will traverse the closer to dead. If you're legit, leg legit, you're gonna die. Okay, we're now in the closer to dead boss marathon. No resting, it's a boss rush. Your first face wing raptor, the first boss of the game. This is an upgraded version of the wing raptor, but it has. The pathetic HP, especially if you have good weapons like Ultima Weapon, Chicken Knife, and you win that easily. <laughs> not easy, that's so easy. Another encounter is Garula. It's not in order. It's not like a, it's not a boss rush in order, and stuff. order is kind of messed up. So this is was one in the Tower of Walls, I guess. Tower of Walls and World One. 
And another encounter. Siren, this is the B-I-T-C-H of World 1. It's the, the first girl boss we fought after Wing Raptor. She turns him dead. She tries to flirt with Galf before and she's dead again. And encounter. Okay, this is the second B-I-T-C-H opponent of World 1. And that's her BF destroyer. Let's just kill them all. You probably won't take her out in one shot because she has an ally with, with, a, with a big a amount of HP as well. So I guess two rapid fires will kill them. Or rapid fire with Meteor. And she's dead. And what should we use? Let's try Aqua Breath. Let's use Kraus, Aqua Breath, and douse some spit on Forza. <laughs> wow. Kral is dousing his or her spit. Oh. I think yeah, I think Aqua Breath comes from the character's mouth because how else would you get water? There. It's, it's, it's not like bubble it's like bubble beam for Pokemon. It came from their mouth. And this is the good the super boss of the set one. Okay, Gil Turtle rematch. This is the upgraded Gil Turtle that we fought in uh, World 2 and the Gil Turtle we fought in the post-game dungeon. Heart of Ronka. Uh, near Heart of Ronka. River of Souls. <clears throat> the same strategy. You protect your characters. I don't need to be serious in this battle because it's it's really not a threat. They're already really powerful. Although he may still kill you because you do know that turtle is a very powerful move So you still should use a bit of protection like golem or blink I wouldn't uh, be stingy on the MPU since we have a lot of eaters now So yeah Give it your best shot <sighs> so what should I do while well, fighting this boss? I should, I should t uh, tell some story. Let's try some magic. I can't believe this is the, uh, this is probably the last episode of this LP, but this is also the, uh, at, uh, what a bad time! This is the last episode, but I'm not in a perfect condition. That's really annoying. I can't believe I'm slightly sick. Probably have something to do with what I ate yesterday. <sighs> My stomach is not in a perfect condition. Life is just terrible sometimes. Oh, I forgot. He casts Earthquake when he's dead. That's not much of a problem if you have high HP. If you don't want to take any damage, then make sure you're floated before fighting him. But I forgot that. I overlooked it, sorry. <laughs> this also this is also the week of the last episode of the World God Only No Season 3. I'm watching that anime. Yeah, the World God Only No Season 3. This is the last episode this week. And this is also the last episode of my LP of Final Fantasy V Advance. Wow, what a timing. End of an anime series, end of a let's play. Okay, Liquid Flame! <clears throat> Another easy boss again, eh, there's no problem. Just rapid fire. Or hit him with your Blizzaga, he's dead. Another boss. And counter. Soul Cannon Launcher! Okay, this is the Soul Cannon we fought in Ronka Ruins. This is not the. Guardian Cannon, so this bastard is weak against lightning and has pathetic HP, so you can easily dispatch this. But be careful, remember that if it uses uh, Wave Cannon, you're gonna take serious damage. So yeah, don't take out too long, yeah. don't take too long fighting him. <coughs> 
Oh, still alive. We uh, said it has a lot of parts. That's just quick. We can use Krile to do a lot of spitting. Let's spit on him. Aqua Breath. Bubble Beam. <laughs> I should stop saying that dowsing with saliva and really sounds suggestive. Let's say bubble beam. Yeah, bubble beamer. Yeah, that's Krile, that's super moe. Bubble beaming the opponent. Uh, Silja, I guess? I don't think it's... Uh, yeah, it's lightning. I think Ramos is the lightning, but Silja is wind. Ah, it's resistant against wind. Screw me. Okay, I'm rapid fire and you're dead. <coughs> and it's dead! We got, wow, 10 XP, that's so cute. Okay, Puro Bolos. Okay, this opponent, it's not, it's not hard, but you can take a lot of time fighting him if you don't kill, hit him the right way. So to kill this bastard, the easy way is to damage all the the bombs simultaneously. So every character there should take damage. If you only hit single targets, they would have a chance to revive their ally. It's just like the the triple pigs battle in which we try to eradicate them simultaneously. So we need some area unaffected attacks that hits everyone so that they will get damaged simultaneously. Although the amount of damage is not the same because the back row takes less damage. <coughs> At least the damage range is not too big. Just use Bahamut or Leviathan. Yes, yes. Leviathan can do well. It's fire. Yeah. Everyone will take heavy damage. And I guess they're dead. Since so all, all of them died the same time, they can't arise their allies because they just died in the same turn. So yes, that's good. <coughs> okay, Minotaur. Okay, I love the I remember this boss battle. You can't use magic here. So your magicians will not be useful here. But if you have rapid fire. Yeah, just rapid fire, and it's over. Holy, not enough MP. Come on, <laughs> you still did the same stupid mistake. He, you know, he knows that he can't cast magic himself, but he still persists on using holy. Okay, this is the harder version of the poor ball spell. I already talked about this a few minutes ago. Uh, you can hit him si with a Ramo attack so that they will have equal damage. Flare can also can also help. If you have a lot of characters with rapid oh no no their their HP are not equal anymore. That red character will die first. Lena automatically counter attack. This is where the counter passive ability screws you up because it works by itself and we all we, we need to decimate their HP simultaneously but Lena just ruined the strategy well as long as in a split second time when the character that the opponent character dies you manage to land one more hit of an attack it still counts as if you hit it in a fur on that turn so yeah a simultaneous attack okay I guess that red is gonna die that red character is gonna die and uh, the blue and pink one is gonna survive so you better land a quick shot I mean yeah one more rapid ah oh, too bad it respawned okay let's just try it again it's not too hard just just need the right strategy Okay, now you have a split second time. Before they respawn, I land one more shot of Meteor. Yes, that's good. That's the advantage of split second advantage. And he's dead. It's counted on the same turn, so we kill them simultaneously. That's good. Or 
almost imperfect sim yeah it was imperfect so that was almost simultaneous <laughs> okay more recording time I'm running low on MP so I'm probably gonna use Balm of Galade next bow with our mixer character our chemist okay by bloss I'm gonna defend this turn, not rapid fire. I'm gonna quick. I have two turns in a row. So I have two two mix in a row. Okay, two mixes. Bomb of Galade. So let us MP is full restored and let's also restore Kryle. Because our MP is also low. And that's it. Let's bombard him again. Let's die flamethrower. Yeah, super effective. The flamethrower in Pokemon is stronger. Okay, I hope I did it right. I probably, it's probably wrong. I knew it. Sorry, I didn't I forgot its weakness and resistance. It's okay. We can easily dispatch him with rapid fire. So this Byblos character is absorbing holy and he's dead. <coughs> Okay, Tyrannosaur. Physical attacker. I think we fought this in World 2. It's not a difficult battle. Rapid fire. Yeah, chicken knife and ultimate weapon basically destroys everything. That's why make sure your strongest attacker with the one with the ultimate weapon and chicken knife or brave blade. Our apocalypse should be wearing a confusion protection. If your strongest attacker gets confused, that's what's gonna screw you up. It happened to me when when I was a kid. I didn't care much about status effects and my best character, which is an attacker, got confused and basically I dug my own grave because my own strongest character dual wielded on my whole party and killed everyone. Yeah. So my other, his ally characters got a taste of ultimate weapon and chicken knife. So yeah, friendly fire for the win or for the lose. So yeah, you gotta love Ly Lamia's tiara or angel ring or rainbow dress, Genji armor. Actually, when I was a kid, I didn't even care about those equipment because. Of course, when I was a kid, I was stupid and I didn't care about status inflictions. But now I was more serious in gaming. That I, I always try my best to get the rare equipment, like the Genji sets, uh, the secret equipment in World Two, the Bone Mail. Uh, yeah, because in my fi my Final Fantasy when I was a kid, yeah, I didn't care about those stuff. I just wanna. Finish the bell and that's it. No strategy involved. So yeah, that's when I was a terrible noob, <laughs> in which Ian Not would probably laugh at my face when he hears this story. Okay, I don't want to get bombarded with a mega flare, so let's just mighty guard first. So remember, I hope you remember the strategy for this battle. So put a reflect on this opponent so that he cannot recover using death. But you better hope your characters have ribbons or any kind of death protection so that when he reflects death, they will not get killed. Simple as that. That's not a difficult battle. Oh yeah, that's that's a failure. You can't recover yourself. You're reflected. I think time magic will be reflected, so I won't use it. Let's attack. Better hurry up. The reflect doesn't last forever. Oh yeah, I gotta love the Age of Shield. <clears throat> wow, 300 HP. Uh, let's try Aqua Breath or attacking. I think Aqua Breath 
Acrobat doesn't get reflected because Yeah, I'll just attack. Let's just see what damage I can do. Oh yeah, 472! What a strong attack. <laughs> um uh, yeah. It's just summon so I can't reflect them. I can't use holy on him because he's reflected now. Okay, Mega Flare. That's my pet. He's a Salamence. More like a Bahamut. Uh oh, I think Reflex John this is in trouble. We're in trouble. <gasps> Let's just kill him. Come on, come on, do it. You can do it, Nayuts. He's dead. Thank you. Oh, lots of ABP for a boss rush battle. Okay, a panda. That is just like that by Bolos guy. Weak to fire, and I guess it has some extra evades that. Just kill him, rapid fire him. He's not hard. <clears throat> oh, he's dead. One rapid fire dispatches him. Wow, it's a very long bell. It's a very memorable final, final stretch. Cloister of the Dead. <laughs> It would be cool if the last episode was fighting Enuo, but if you haven't defeated Enuo, you, you couldn't unlock this Cloister of the Dead. So basically, this is the final stretch and not Enuo. Okay, Manticore, boss in World 2. I hope my memory serves me right. Uh, it's not hard. <laughs> it's just like the Gorgimera. And he's dead. One rapid fire kills him. Adamant toys. Okay, this this uh, this is easier than the Gil Turtle. You don't even need to use the Blissaga technique. Damage him. He has not. He doesn't have too much defense. He doesn't have the Turtle shot and doesn't cast Earthquake. So yeah, he's a wimpier version of Gil Turtle. And Jack and Apes. Oh my God. Why did they make this a boss? This is a pathetic monster in World 1 that eliminates us. Because, yeah, when you're under leveled, you can't kill this in World 1. But now, yeah, look, 2 ABP, 1 gill. <coughs> okay, Kalofisteri. This is a slightly hard boss in the Rift, World 3. Is, I, is this the chick that uses barrier change? Oh no, this is this the the magic magical defender chick. And Twintania, another boss in the rift. The Archeo Demon is obviously easier. I mean harder. This is the easier one. But yeah, you better use your mighty gourd. Because this character this monster also uses Mega Flares. Oh yeah, if you have Coral Ring and... Oh yeah, defense decrease work. <coughs> hmm. Let's just use Bahamut. He is water type after all. I don't know if it's water type, but he's using Tidal Wave, so I don't want to risk it. <coughs> Mega Flare! Wow, what a Bahamut wannabe. Let's rapid fire him. I'm gonna rapid fire your face. Wow, look at that damage. What, 8,000? And it's not a weak shot, weakness attack. You just gotta love the chicken knife. It's so powerful. I wonder if the chicken knife was retained in the future Final Fantasies. Like, yeah. It's stronger than the Ultima weapon. Usually in a Final Fantasy game, the strongest weapon is the Ultima weapon. But in this game, the chicken knife at full power is the strongest weapon. Because it takes agility into account. Okay, Omniscient. 
if you didn't bring a character that can cast magic, you are pretty much screwed and will be stuck in this battle. So I hope you had a magical use a magic user before you started this battle. Because if you didn't bring any magic user, you would be stuck in this battle and you have to probably restart from the beginning. Because the only way to kill this is to use magic. Because if you use physical attack, he's just gonna keep reset, 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 and reset, and reset. So basically, it's you can battle him forever. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, uh, oh yeah. A funny story when I was a kid and I fought this <laughs> because remember that I was a noob before and I didn't know how to fight strategically I was so pissed that this opponent keeps on using reset and I can't basically beat him and I say maybe the game is glitching why is he using uh, reset every turn I even slowed him but he's still using reset <laughs> I fought him for like two hours and I was so pissed that okay it's game facts time I, I really can't beat him I need to look up on the guide and apparently you can't kill him using physical attacks <laughs> oh yeah I gotta love that traumatizing uh, stupid memories but now it's not hard, we can easily beat him. Just do well cast holy. <coughs> and also this opponent, ironically, using items that are magic equivalent also makes him cast reset. So if you use magic lamp, he will cast reset. If you break the rods and you cast magic, he will still use reset. So you have to use a pure magic attack against him, not the item kind of magic. So he won't reset and he's dead. One character takes extreme flare damage, but he's already dead. Defeat. Yay! Hey, my trope is starred. Uh, this is the last episode. Okay, Wendigo. Oh. Interesting. This is uh, one of my favorite or most hated bosses. So this is basically the ability of Neo Shinryu that we fought before. Neo, Neo Shinryu is like a Shinryu with a uh, Wendigo kind of technique. Only one of the four opponents here right now is the real one. The others are clones. And the clones will not take any damage. They are invulnerable. Oh. I guess not in the first turn. But later they will be invulnerable. And only one character, only one opponent will get damaged. And if you use area on effect attacks that damage everything. They would counter with uh, their frost attack. Oh! Oh man, that was bad. Sorry, sorry. So, Wendigo absorbs water. But Aquabat is also water. Why didn't he not take that uh, recover from that? Oh, because I think Aquabat is not considered water. Yeah, ironically. Aqua breath is not considered water in this game. It's not a water element. Hmm. So I guess we can't. Leviathan is out of the list. Let's just rapid fire him. It's not hard. It's just gonna take a lot of time. Take a lot of space from my local disk. Local disk memory. Because this. This screen recorder. Every time I make an episode of a let's play, it always makes like 500 megabytes worth of uh, video, so yeah. If I'm running out of space, I'm just gonna transfer it to the external. 
What am I saying this? It's ru it's ruining the LP. <laughs> Let's just bam it away. Salamence. Dragon Breath. <laughs> oh yeah. We got the real one. Oh, close call. Thankfully, Len has Frost, uh, what Frost? I mean, Force Shield. With 1 HP still standing. I better recover her. Kyuraga. Yep, Kyuraga. The nice thing about Final Fantasy V as well is before Final Fantasy VI, I think I already said this in my LP. For Final Fantasy VI, Kyuraga always restores full HP on one target. Final Fantasy VI above, Kyuraga restores a lot of HP to one target, but not full HP. So yeah, I can imagine Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX, you can't really restore fully a character's HP a single target. You only restore them by 6,000 to 7,000 or 5,000. Yeah, because they kind of nerfed, nerfed the Kyuraga effect. I guess they probably didn't like the Kyuraga style in Final Fantasy V in which Kyuraga is like, are like full restores on one character. Oh yes, one clone died. Oh, nobody took damage. Are they in their invulnerable state? No one will get confused. They are. They have Lamia Tiaras, so they can't get confused. Also, red slippers. Yes. So it's in the bottom one. Okay. <laughs> they love to spam us. Oh, it was a final attack. It was a death style attack, so they were actually dying that time. Okay, so Krell basically landed the last hit. She basically spit on the Wendigos. She spat out. She, yeah, she spat a lot of saliva on the opponents. Okay, let's Battle of Gallade. I guess I'm gonna battle of Gallade Krell later. Now here we can't use magic because the sandworm reacts to it, so we can't use the aqua breath or any kind of magic. We have to use our physical attackers here and we can't also use rapid fire because if we hit the holes we get countered by Graviga. So yes. Attack attack! Don't move! Yes! Please do not move! Because if it moves you are screwed. Uh, I can't use my magics. Can't use my majutsu. <laughs> majutsu, man. To arrow majutsu, no index. <laughs> okay. Still alive, dead. What a lag. We did it. Yay!